Okay, Caleb here from Cell Phone Intelligence, and uh, this video here is uh, it's going to be a quick overview of Wi-Fi Direct, uh, just what it does, how it works, and that's about it. So, uh, Wi-Fi Direct. Now, uh, Wi-Fi Direct has become has been coming standard on uh, Samsung devices, um, anything pretty much since the Galaxy S2. I'm not sure if the Vibrant and the Captivate have it or not. Um, if they do, awesome. If not, well, but uh, I definitely know the uh, the Nexus, the uh, S2 LTE, S2 LTE HD, um, uh, the Note, uh, the Galaxy S3, uh, and yeah, just about any you know, and any subsequent Samsung devices are going to have it. So Wi-Fi Direct. Basically, what it is is. Um, it uses uh, Wi-Fi connectivity um, to connect um, devices. So now you don't need um, a Wi-Fi internet connection. You don't have to tether your phone. Like it doesn't involve the internet at all. It's just using Wi-Fi um, to connect, you know, one phone to another. So uh, what's good for? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, not a huge amount of applications for it yet. Besides uh, transferring files. And um, as I found with the Wi-Fi Direct, best way to wirelessly transfer files between phones, um, far easier um, and faster than Bluetooth. Uh, keys Air way faster. So the Wi-Fi Direct, really great for just you know moving things in between phones, and you, you can move any kind of files, uh, MP3s, pictures, videos, um, you know zip files, whatever you want. So. I'm going to show you uh, just quickly uh, how to use it. So I've got the Galaxy Note here and I've got uh, Galaxy S3 and we are going to uh, send some files Wi-Fi Direct. So set it up, super simple, there really is no setup. Just go into your phone, go into uh, your system settings and more and then we see here Wi-Fi Direct, switch it on and that's good there. And it's going to do the same on the uh, Note. Um, now, as I mentioned, um, Wi-Fi Direct has nothing to do with, say, your Wi-Fi internet, um, if you are a Wi-Fi router. And as you'll see here on the Note, um, when I turn the Wi-Fi Direct on, it actually turns off the, um, I guess, regular Wi-Fi, if you will. So turn that off. Wi-Fi Direct's coming on. Perfect. So we'll go back here. I guess we'll use this as the lead phone. And so, Wi-Fi Direct. And, yeah. So, I've changed the name, obviously, on the uh, Galaxy S3, Galaxy S3. But um, your phone will have, you know, just a weird name. See, so it says, like, Wi-Fi Direct up top. I wonder if you can see it there, Android 3BA4. So, tap to connect. And this one here, so we're going to accept. And wait for it. And connected. So that's it. Now that the devices are connected, we can go ahead and start transferring files. I'm just going to pull that down there so you can see what I mean. So, what you will need is some kind of um, uh, file explorer. Um, I like to use ES File Explorer because it's free, it uh, goes right up to root, um, and is just all around a great program. So, I'm going to go, let's see here, uh, actually, go into MP3 download, no, not that one apparently, user download, no. uh, here we go. So. Go ahead and uh, quickly check the properties. So, if you can see there, four and a half megabytes is the size of this file. Nothing huge. And then it's going to go share and Wi-Fi Direct. And then it's going to ask me which device. And so it'll be the Galaxy Note. And we see that coming up here. Cool. Like four and a half meg transfer in like one and a half seconds. Like just phenomenally fast on the uptake. You know, like I said, much faster than uh, Bluetooth um, or any other kind of uh, transfer 
a wireless transfer that I've ever tried. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go with this uh, file here. It's a video file. It's some kind of it's a trailer for the Dark Knight Rises, and as you can see here, it's 179 megabytes or 173, sorry. So, bit uh, quite a bit larger of a file. I'm gonna go ahead and send that over to the note. And share Wi-Fi Direct. Click it. Done. Waiting to send. All right, so it's receiving the file now. And as you can see, it's just motoring along. 15, 16. Should have put a timer on this here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and done so there we go it was about what uh you know i counted up to what 35 is you know but couldn't have been more than 40 45 seconds and that's a you know, fairly decent sized file so there you know there it is um you know as i said personally best way to transfer any kind of information um between phones super fast um, now, not all phones come with Wi-Fi Direct. Um, I haven't looked into HTC or Motorola, but um, as I said, I do know that Sam, you know, all newer Samsung devices come with it, um, dating back all the way to the Galaxy S2 and all subsequent models. And uh, hopefully, the, the you know, future models will have it as well. Um, now, besides file transfer, I haven't really found a lot of other uses for Wi-Fi Direct yet, but there's a lot of potential there, and you know, super easy to set up. Like, you know, all you got to do is turn it on and then, you know, send a request or accept a request and you're good to go. So really, how can you argue with it? So if your friends, you know, you, you know, your friends, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever have, uh, you both have Samsung phones, it's the way to be. So just that easy. So that is a uh, quick overview of Wi-Fi Direct and one of the things you can do with it. I'll be coming back with you uh, another video. Uh, to uh, show you something else cool uh, that you can do with Wi-Fi Direct. So be on the lookout for that. Now, if you like this video, you can go ahead and check out my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash cellphoneintelligence. As well, if you're looking for more videos, want to see some other crazy stuff, uh, check out the YouTube channel. That's uh, youtube.com slash cellphoneintel with one L. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm Caleb. And this has been your cell phone intelligence. Until next time.